Hi, I'm Janae, and today we're going to be demonstrating the ultrasound components of the biophysical profile scan. This scan is done in the third trimester and it demonstrates fetal well-being. So we're going to have a look here on the patient demographics page and I've already entered the patient's due date based on her dating ultrasound. And here displayed on the top of the screen we can see that this baby is 32 weeks and four days today. If we scroll down the demographics page here, we see the component for the biophysical profile. There's four components for the ultrasound assessment. Here we can see fetal breathing, fetal activity, muscle tone, and amniotic fluid volume. This is a 30 minute scan and the baby has 30 minutes to demonstrate all four of those portions to get a normal score. Each portion gets a score of two for normal or zero for abnormal. So we'll go ahead and start here. And we can see that the baby is presenting cephalid. So the baby's head is down. And we'll scroll up to the baby's abdomen. We're gonna get a coronal view of the torso here. And see if we can start by assessing the fetal breathing. So here we can see the sides of the baby's torso contracting as the baby practices its breathing motion. We can see down low here is the baby's bladder, the stomach and the heart. And that in and out motion is the baby practicing the breathing. So the baby's taking in amniotic fluid through the no nostrils and practicing how to breathe. So we can see the abdominal walls moving on the sides. And we wanna see this continuous movement for 30 seconds to adequately pass for the fetal breathing portion of the scan. If we scan a little bit more posterior, we can see the baby's kidneys come into view here and we can see the kidneys moving up and down with the diaphragm as the baby's practicing that breathing motion. So it looks like we're getting some action down here low. So let's have a look and see if we can assess for fetal movement. So to pass the fetal movement portion of the scan, we wanna see at least two movements of the baby's limbs within this 30 minutes. So this is the lower part of the leg here. We can see the bright bone coming into view there. And then that's the femur, and then the lower leg is down here, so the tibia and the fibula. So the baby's really wiggling there, getting some pushback on the camera. So we've seen at least one movement there. We go is the leg, the lower limb moving. We just caught a portion of it there. So we've seen at least one movement. So for the fetal tone portion of the scan, we want to see a flexion extension of either the arm or leg, and we just saw a really big movement there of the arm, or an opening and closing of the baby's hand. We'll come back to that. In the meantime, let's have a look at the amniotic fluid volume. We're going to look for a nice pocket of amniotic fluid and we want it to be in, in an area free of umbilical cord. So we can see here, this is a nice pocket, but it's got a lot of um, the umbilical cord in that pocket. So we'll just scan over here, down in the lower quadrant, we can see a little pocket here. And there's no limbs here. We don't have any of the umbilical cord floating around. So we'll freeze there and let's just take a measurement. So again, we want it to measure at least two centimeters vertically. So we'll take that measurement here. It's displayed on the top. So this one's 2.9 centimeters. And then we also need this pocket to measure at least one centimeter in the horizontal plane. So we can fix that up there. We can see that that pocket measures 2.9 centimeters vertically and 1.4 centimeters horizontally. So that's a pass for the amniotic fluid assessment. We could also have a look at the baby's spine for the fetal tone. So flexion and or extension of the spine also counts. So here we can see a nice sagittal view of the baby's spine.
all the way down to the lower portion of the spine here. There is some flexion and extension movement of the baby's spine there. So I'm happy with that for the fetal tone portion. So once I'm satisfied that the baby has demonstrated all four of those components, we can head back to the patient demographics page for the scoring. So we'll go here and scroll down again. And so we demonstrated the baby's breathing. We'll give it a normal score and it's going to automatically add the total here at the bottom. The fetal activity is normal. So again, it, gets, it adds two on. Um, muscle tone is normal, so we'll give it another two, so we're at six, and, and the amniotic fluid volume was also normal. So this baby has scored eight out of eight for the biophysical profile scan.